Look at that. If this doesn't work, throwing it away. Maverick, look at all the lobsters. Big old pink and purple guy. Woo. What is going on, my beautiful people? We are in the animal room. Look at this pool table. All sorts of new additions coming in to the uh, little man cave, what I like to call the lobster trap. But we don't have any lobsters in the lobster tank. As you can see, the only little crustaceans that we got are the shrimp. There's a lot more shrimp in here than you can actually see. They're under the sand. But today, we will be catching a bunch of lobster, hopefully. Fingers crossed. We never know what happens out on the ocean. But we're going to be catching a bunch of lobster to put into this 220 gallon tank. This thing is absolutely massive. The 180 is doing well. I don't want to be too uh, loud and scary, but I have to be talking to you guys. The Arowana is doing well, Indo-Pacific Tarpon and the Iridescent Sharks are all doing well and we are going to be getting a little friend soon. About this big, I think a bit, this big, this big, for this tank. So if you guys want to stay tuned for that, subscribe to the channel and stick around for that. But we will see you guys in the Keys, probably on the water. Wait, 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 let's fix that transition. Are you sure? Yes. All right, so we are out on the water now. We've got the beautiful, not so clear water, but it is, uh, it's actually getting more clear, I think, since we've been sitting on this spot. Hopefully, the water does clear up today so we can get some really good underwater footage, but we are at the first spot right now. We've got this big old net right here, which is the trade-off net. Basically, when we have ugh, our smaller nets like this, with the lobster in them, you guys will see it on the GoPro footage on my mask. Hopefully if I'm able to catch a lobster, usually quite good at it. But once we catch the lobster in here, it'll be passed to Sean into the net, onto the boat, and into the live well, because obviously we want to keep them alive for the fish tank. The problem is, a lot of times these legs of the lobster tend to break off, and uh, we don't want that because in the tank, we want to have beautiful lobsters walking around. So we have to be very careful with these fragile lobsters. Let's see what happens. Woo. So check the first spot. Didn't see much, a lot of fish, a lot of life on the little reef in the grassy area, but we're off to the next spot to try to find some lobster. All right. Whew. We've got two lobster from this spot. Again, the goal is not only to catch them, but to get them home safely with the least amount of injury. And like I said, they are kind of fragile. So if you know anything about lobstering, usually you'll have a bunch of little legs that come off because people can be pretty rough with them. They're trying to get them as fast as they can. Jonah's handing me the bag here. I think I'm just gonna set it in like this. Look at that, measured it with the gauge, made sure it was legal size. We did have to let one go. I'm gonna put one in there just like that. Try not to touch them as much as we can, so that way we leave them in one piece and get them home safe. check this out we have a bunch of lobster in here we actually already put two in the truck oh, we don't want to spook them too much look at this we also have a crab in there but we have to work quick here guys because they are already on the countdown to going into the tank so I'm gonna load them up now I'll see you in the truck 
look at this. This is our little setup here. You can see we have a little pump just to circulate the water in here. These guys should be fine. Crustaceans are pretty hardy. Jonah is coming with the last two lobsters now, but we basically have all of these guys in here. We're gonna have to name this guy down here, Mr. Krabs. Look at him. Look at this big guy here. I don't wanna mess him up too much. I don't wanna mess with him. We will see you guys when we get to the house. And would you look at that, the lobster are here. And come over here on our way home, we were able to scoop up a big old lobster trap because that is exactly what this tank was needing. So we are gonna put the lobster trap into the tank. I think that's the first thing we're gonna do as these guys acclimate down here. So the water is running now, water is going now. Maverick is here, Maverick. Look at all the lobsters. Comment down below at least one name for one of these lobsters and maybe a name for a crab, but I think Mr. Krabs is gonna stick. So we just found out that this lobster trap will not fit into the tank like it is because it won't fit through the top. There's bracing up there that won't allow the whole thing to get in there. So we are going to need to use some power tools. Here we go. We are gonna need to cut this thing up. And look at that. We have the back piece off. We might even put that in there somewhere. But that goes there for now. Let's see if this fits. Now, one more time. If this doesn't work, we're throwing it away. <laughs> I cannot wait to see what this looks like in here. This has been a dream for a while. This is weird with this garage door in here. Oh, well. We have gotten the trap in there. I didn't think it was gonna be so big. I thought we were gonna get into the tank a little easier, but we split it in half, we shimmied it in there. It's gonna sit more so on the bottom, but we have to weigh it down. You can see the weights that we added on the top. And now our lobster are acclimated down here. Let's get them into the tank just gently. Hey, don't be grabbing Mr. Krabs. Don't be grabbing Mr. Lobster. Okay. Very gently. We want to uh, actually, I guess we could go right here. Ooh. And there she goes. The first lobster is in the tank. Look at this, come around here. The colors are just amazing on these Florida spiny lobster. I'm gonna move this ladder out of the way for you so you guys can get a closer look into the tank. Just check out how amazing the color and pattern is on that lobster. Let's get the rest into the tank. These lobster aren't going too crazy. Oh, there we go. Look at that, moving around just fine. This might be the largest one here. Big old pink and purple guy. Woo! They've got a mouth down here you don't want to get bit by. It's like a mouth kind of like this and it'll just pinch the heck out of you. Got you right in here, Mr. Lobster. Oh, the shrimp are like, what is this big shrimp over here? We've got a big shrimp in the tank. Then we've got the crab here. Can't forget about Mr. Krabs. Check out these bad boys. This is a feisty one. I thought they were all gonna do that, but I guess they might be a little bit stressed from the ride. Oh, shot right down to the bottom of the tank. Guys, the lobster tank mission was a success. I think we've done a very good job. Back up for a second and look at this tank here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. I miscounted a little bit, but we have eight lobster in here, and of course, all of our Sean. What what, what you got? What you got a timer on your phone for? It's it's Sean's time to go. We have wrapped up this video here. The shrimp are happy. The lobster seem to be happy with their new home, and. I am happy to be able to enjoy them and share them with you. If you guys liked this video, please leave a little like for me and for Maverick. Maverick, look, look at the fish tank. He's like, I'm smelling things, look. Oh my goodness, 
Look at the fish. Look at all the pretty shrimps, your friends. Maverick is happy, guys. We are signing out here. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more and stay tuned with this lobster adventure. We're probably going to be letting them go once the season ends because we can't keep them past the season here in Florida. It's very, very strict. Maverick is running out to the street, guys. We are signing out. I will see you guys next time. Peace.